Hello, everyone, and welcome to the full supermoon feng shui for Friday, the 29th, 2023. This is the last supermoon of the year. And I want to talk about not just the supermoon feng shui, but all the energies that can really catalyze the most amazing end of the year. So, and not just the end of the year, but a springboard into a whole new dimension. So 2024 is very new energy, really new big shifts, like kind of seismic. And I think we all kind of feel that on some level. And if 2023 has been somewhat challenging to you up to this point, or um, not as you've expected, it's all easier from here is the idea. And so, and all the things that you've done, now you're going to reap the rewards during the harvest moon. The harvest moon is here. So this full super moon is Aries, big, bold, decisive, Mars energy, taking actions. So I wonder how many of you have been setting a lot of intentions, hoping for things to change, uh, putting things, um, putting things on lists and planning, but you haven't quite taken the big steps yet. So by this Friday or on this Friday or this weekend or sometime soon when you're watching this video, sit down and ask yourself, where have I been stuck? Where have I not been paying attention in to areas of my life? And how can I move things forward? And so for instance, how many of you have one area of life that you just don't have time for? You don't have time for relationships. You don't have time for working out. You don't have time for uh, learning something new. You don't have time, even though you know it's a big priority. You just don't have, maybe you don't have time to do things in your house. You just haven't had the time or you haven't had the urgency to do it. Now is the time to decide if there are areas of my life that have not gotten attention. I'm going to shower so much love and energy on these aspects of my life. It's interesting because I was thinking about this in the last few days preparing for this full supermoon, and I realized I have not traveled in so long. And just yesterday, my friend invited me on what is probably a life-changing trip. And I am organizing right now to do my best to make that happen. Something I wanted to do since I was a little kid. So um, I'm very excited by the possibilities of creating in new directions. Now, when you want to shift your life, oftentimes it's like, okay, I want more money. I need to focus on money. But actually, if you take an expanded point of view on this, and this is really important because this full moon, this super moon, this ultra bright moon is lighting up these areas to take action in. When you actually focus on what you haven't been developing in some area of your life, let's just say you haven't been exercising and you go, oh, I don't have time for that. I don't have time for that because I really need more money. Or I really need more, I need more uh, opportunities or I need more of something to come together for me. I need this problem solved. You have this other aspect of your life that hasn't been touched in a long time, but the focus is on I've been so stuck or I've been creatively blocked. There's nothing that's moving. There's nothing that's moving. And so the temptation is to just move into that area that's stuck and go, I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to make it happen. But instead, if you can look at those areas that you haven't touched in your life for a long time, like exercise, let's just say as an example, and you go, you know what? I'm going to start exercising right now. I'm going to go for a walk every day. I'm going to do a whatever workout video every day. I'm going to do some yoga in my living room every day, whatever it is. That will start generating energy that can move your money far forward, far faster than if, or whatever area you're stuck in, can move it forward far faster than if you're pushing and forcing and trying to basically just do more of the same thing, hoping to get different results. So look at what areas of your life, and you might wanna put them in the comments, what areas of your life have you not been creating in that you haven't been paying attention to? 
Um, it might be adventure. It might be community and family. You might not spend a lot of time with your family right now. Might be um, you haven't seen your friends in a long time. Your social life has been neglected a bit. Maybe you haven't had a lot of time for uh, whatever it is, creativity, just for fun. What would happen if you just decide right now, I'm going to work on that. I'm going to get into that. That's going to really fill me up. It's going to fill you up in a way that's going to help you to manifest more in all aspects of your life. This is huge. Please make decisions to get unstuck, not by focusing on what's stuck alone, by focusing on all the other aspects of life that maybe you haven't had a lot of time for. Cleaning your house can change your life. And it's a super moon, so it's a time of huge release, full super moon, releasing anything in your way. And when you clean, it is the most practical way to release, to restore, to revitalize, and it's instant. You don't have to do something and then like a ritual and then go, oh, I hope it works. It's instant. You instantly feel the difference. You instantly feel the shift. Clean your kitchen. If you're working on your wellness, clean your bathroom, deep, deep clean. If you're working on more self-care, clean your bedroom. If you're looking to improve romance or more, uh, more of a sense of, well, your sleep and also a sense of relationship with yourself as well. All these ways that we can deep clean our space can help to transform your life. This is practical. It's easy to do. You don't have to add anything magical to it. But if you want to add something magical to it, you can use a little bit of fire element right now to make your home glow. And so some ways that you can use the fire element, you can burn a candle while you're writing a to-do list every day. I love, I always have my favorite candles. This is a special one that was made for me. You can't really see the label, uh, but it was made by one of my students in the School of Intention, the Feng Shui School. For me specifically, she tunes into people's energy and does healings and then makes you oils and makes you candles and it furthers the healing. And so I light my special candle and write out my to-do list every day, visualizing the day ahead. You might light candles while you eat dinner. Uh, you might light candles after you clean your house. All of this is using fire, the, the flame to transform the energy around you. Very, very powerful. You can also use fire by bringing more passion to your environment. One of the fun ways to bring more passion to your environment is to bring splashes of color. If you see behind me on that table, there's a great big red bromeliad plant. It's like a giant splash of color that changed the room. Just one little plant for a few dollars. It doesn't have to be anything elaborate. It can be a new throw blanket. It could be new pillows. It could be a piece of art. It could be even something like flowers that you get every week with color, with energy that's going to really bring a dynamism to life. The point of this moon is to help you to get unstuck creatively and to take action on what you want. What comes after this are the eclipses. And the eclipses, we're going to do a lot for the eclipses this year because the eclipses are so big and really set up 2024. Yes. Um, and the eclipses are a time of rapid change making. And when you're ready, when you're set up, you want rapid change making because you're ready to go. When things are a little bit chaotic, when things are a little bit upside down, the last thing you want is more shaken up. <laughs> and so even if it's positive, it's just a lot. So you want to be open to receive the blessing of all of this. Hang on one second. Sorry about this, guys. I've been getting so many spam calls. That's something I need to declutter from my life. If anyone knows how, please leave a message below and let me know because I probably get five of them a day. Um, and we're going to talk about this now, decluttering your life. This is another way to add more fire energy to your space and to your life. So when you have any sort of perpetual clutter, uh, I have one, two, three, four, five pairs of different glasses that pile up on my desk. 
my whole desk needs to be stripped of everything that's on it right after I do this. It's really too much. And when you clear things, you activate your space. Your space is a mirror of you. When you clear your space, you clear your life. You open your energy field to receive more. So by clearing things off, especially clearing countertops, clearing closets that you go into every day, when you have more clarity in everything that you see, when it's not seeing a million things, even if they're nice things, when there's more clarity, you're going to have more space to grow and glow with ease. Very, very powerful. Now, the final aspect of this super moon is the idea of bringing more magic, your magic, into every day. This is about the magic that you make. And I'm a believer you make your own luck, you make your own magic. There's so much that you can transform by becoming more of an alchemist every single day. So how can you do this? One is you can start actually creating more, um, activating your creativity every day. We talk about this so much. Um, I'm constantly beating the drum for more creativity in all ways. The entire feng shui method is about waking up your creativity because creativity is how you manifest. So where can you be more creative in practical ways every day? It might be dressing up and paying a little bit more attention to what you're wearing and styling an outfit every day. It might be something like making food that's a little bit more creative every day creative seasonings, creative spices, creative recipes, trying something new. It might be something where you have creative ways that you want to set up your day. You want to do like a ritual every day, something special for yourself, for your energy. Bring more creativity to every day and do creative practices. I have all these art supplies. These are some of the best things that I've ever bought. Hang on. I love these. These are so awesome. I think they were seven or eight dollars on Amazon and they're really, really great watercolors. And I don't know the name of them. I'll see if I can find it. Um, it I don't think they have a name, but um, they were amazing. They were I just they popped up. I grabbed them and now I do watercolor painting whenever I have a break. And it's easy. It's non-toxic. It's fun. I can pretty much bring it anywhere. It has the little um, it has the little brushes that fit inside. And all I need is water and a piece of paper and I'm good to do something. And it's really, really fun. And these are the types of things that you can start doing more of. And when you do, it echoes through your life. It echoes through everything you do. The key to this moon is to start now. If you've wanted to learn something, start now. If you've wanted to upgrade something, start now. If you've wanted to do something, uh, do a project, it's been lingering, start now. Don't wait. I don't care if you don't know what you're doing. I don't care if you, I don't know what I'm doing in certain projects that I'm doing right now. I'm figuring it out as I go. You will figure it out as you go. Just get started and activate more magic of creativity in your life and also activate more manifesting magic in fun ways every day. Set intentions, play games, um, do some of the rituals. I've shared hundreds of rituals. Um, do some of the rituals. Make your own manifesting ritual. Um, do something fun and do it for this moon. Start now. Um, maybe you have a moon ritual that you do uh, once a month. And it doesn't matter. You do the same one every time, but you love it. That's great. Bring, infuse that magic. Bring that magic to every day. You're going to see things start to transform. And it starts by making decisions. So decide, 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 and have this be the most epic season ever. The Feng Shui School, the School of Intention, the Professional Feng Shui Certification is starting very soon and all the details are below if you're on youtube and um if you're on facebook i'll put them below later um if you want to learn more and join us and i'm going to check and see if there are any questions sent in i don't have time for relationships it's would you want to make the time could it be fun to make the time um or to make a little bit of time like even just I don't know, a few hours a month. 
That's all you need. It doesn't have to be all or nothing. And that's another great note for getting started. You don't need a million hours to get started doing something. A little bit of time moving things forward. Time to work on your blog. Great reminder. Yes, yes, yes. Um, that is amazing. Um, <laughs> taking notes right now. Um, just dive in and do things. You are ready to go. I love when you guys can be here for these lives. It's so much fun to do this with you. Lots more videos are coming to the YouTube channel. Lots more stuff is coming in general um, because this is a time to take action. So make a list even of two or three things or one thing that's been stuck that you're going to shower love on and bring to life right now. Get excited, make a decision and dive in. This is a time where you can look back and say, wow, it was that one day I made a decision and it changed everything. One day that made a decision and changed everything. I remember the one day I made a decision to uh, walk out. I had already, I had didn't start this as a business, but it grew so that I, all of a sudden it was a business. It, it, it's a long story, but a short story in that I was just following my passion. And all of a sudden this business kind of grew around me while I had another job. And I remember the day where something had happened in the, jo the career job that I had. And um, I just nodded and decided. And I remember it. I remember grabbing all my stuff from my office, putting it in my bag, standing up, looking around and going, I'm never going back to any of this. And I walked out the door, didn't even tell anyone until later, just went home, started celebrating and then told everyone um, because what had happened was really bad in the office. And I was like, I'm not dealing with this anymore. I'm done. And that was it. And I look back at that decision, even though I didn't fully know what I was doing at, in the moment, I did. Um, I It was so strong. And those are the moments that you can start creating right now. That's what I'm doing in my life in different areas. And I hope that you're doing it too. Um, someone asked, oh, this is a great question. Do you ever feel like you get writer's block? If so, how do you get started? Um, don't force yourself to write. Try doing things that are... Um, that move energy around you. Uh, do house cleaning, like we talked about. Energize your space uh, and really fill yourself up. One of the reasons why I think a lot of people got more creative block uh, is is for that reason. Like it feels like everything has just sort of piled up, and you need to be revitalized. Um, you need energy to create. <laughs> you need to be open to receive the flow. One other powerful thing for any of you dealing with creative blocks on this creative full supermoon uh, is to remember that you need space in your mind to be able to open up and receive energy. And that often means shutting off your phone, reading more blogs, even watching things like this. I mean, do some of it if, it, if you love it, but try to limit your intake of things, intake of data so that you can output a lot easier. Um, and that could be really, really exciting and awesome. Um, Wendy's been socializing like crazy. Woohoo! Lots of relationship potentials. That's amazing. I love to hear it. Um, that's amazing. So you accepted an offer to hear about diabetes medications, good for professional relationships moving forward. Um, and keep moving forward in your own personal life outside of work. Um, oh, thank you so much, Angela. I really appreciate that. It means so much to me. Um, so much. Sometimes I have imposter syndrome. We all do. That's a good thing. Um, it's good to always, um, it's good to always stay grounded in being a human being. This isn't about uh, turning yourself into someone else. When we talk about big transformation, it doesn't really mean transforming who you are or uh, trying to be someone else. And when you're a human being, you are inherently all things. No one's perfect. We're all perfectly imperfect. And we're all figuring things out. And the joy of life is, I think, 
what I'm getting to is just being in the adventure and adventure is a very big aspect right now. Um, embracing adventure, embracing the new 2024 is going to be so very new. You want to be ready and open to receive all that new energy, all that new dynamism and not um, be like, whoa, everything's so different. No, everything's going to be so amazing. So lean into it all. I'm so excited for the super moon and I cannot wait till we dive into eclipse season, but now's the time to turn on your magic. So say yes and um, have a wonderful weekend, a big Friday and weekend of super moon vibes. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye everyone.